there's some important things to know about MPE or MIDI polyphonic expression. The first is it's just MIDI, and it's a standard. So if you want to use an MPE synthesizer and an MPE controller together, they'll just work. Similarly, if you want to use a standard MIDI synthesizer and an MPE controller, that will work, and vice versa if you want to use an MPE synthesizer and a standard MIDI controller, that will also work. Won't be as fun or as expressive, but it will work. The other important thing is that MIDI polyphonic expression is polyphonic. That means each finger or each note carries its own information about, say, filter or timbre and pitch and any other synth parameters that you might want to attach to your fingers to the synthesizer. This means you can emulate realistic acoustic instruments quite dramatically, or you can do really insane electronic uh, instruments that are really expressive. Um, however you go, there's still a lot of life you can get out of synthesizers just by using MPE. The examples I'll be showing generally are pretty dramatic in their ranges, just so you can understand what's going on. In this first example, I just have kind of a basic sawtooth, and I'm controlling the filter on the vertical, and I've got pressure controlling volume. Just by sliding up and down on the key, I can change the filter. This is cool for... being able to control a chord, but then individual parts of that chord can have their own timbre. This just makes a richer experience. You can also hear that I have pressure mapped to just the volume. Again, a very simple mapping. And of course I can combine all of these gestures. And suddenly the piano keyboard is maybe not the best surface for this. You've got keys in the way, and it doesn't necessarily make sense when you want to start designing things. But it's a great because you know where all the notes are. The other thing is pitch. Again, it's polyphonic. Each note can be slightly detuned. So you start to hear the beating as I bring the notes in and out of tune. And that is, you know, a very expressive design principle. So you can use that just by doing things, shifting your hands a little bit, instead of having to laboriously program things. The other cool thing is that you can do things that just aren't possible with slider knobs because those are going to control the whole sound monophonically. So you can get into that tremolo effect. And suddenly, you are the modulator, not some LFO. And you don't have to worry about syncing it to a specific tempo. You can sync it to how you want to play it. So those are some of the important things about MPE. It's polyphonic, and it's a standard. Now, how that's applied in all the different synthesizers out there that use MPE, that is going to be very different. They all have their own take on it. There's a lot of innovation out there, but it's good for potential, but it can add a bit of a learning curve. So I'm going to take you through a bunch of these different softwares and show you how to approach taking sort of a regular preset and then maybe adding some MPE tricks to it to get more life out of it and get more design.